Welcome to our Tuesday prayer space, and we'll begin today by reading a passage of scripture from the Gospel according to John, chapter 13, verses 3 through 16. I am reading from the New Revised Standard Version. Hear these words from the Gospel according to John. Jesus, knowing that the Father had given all things into his hands, and that he had come from God and was going to God, got up from the table, took off his outer robe, and tied a towel around himself. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and to wipe them with the towel that was tied around him. He said to Simon Peter, he came to Simon Peter who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered, you do not know now what I am doing, but later you will understand. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you have no share with me. Simon Peter said to him, Lord, not my feet only, but also my hands and my head. Jesus said to him, One who is bathed does not need to wash, except for the feet, but is entirely clean. And you are clean, though not all of you. For he knew who was going to betray him, and for this reason he said, Not all of you are clean. After he had washed their feet, had put on his robe, and had returned to the table, he said to them, do you know what I have done to you? You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, for that is what I am. So if your Lord and teacher have washed your feet, you also ought to wash one another's feet. For I have set for you an example that you should also do as I have done to you. Very truly I tell you, servants are not greater than their master, nor are messengers greater than the one who sent them. Thus ends the reading. Friends, even Jesus, our Lord and Savior, serves us. Jesus makes himself into our servant. Jesus has set the example for us of how we ought to take care of one another. And so today during our prayer time, we open up our hearts and ask God to help us to be each other's servants. And it's not always easy when we live in a world that has set some in a higher position than others. But Jesus said, none of us are higher than any of the rest of us. We are all called to serve. Friends, join me now in the spirit of prayer. Get in a nice, restful, peaceful condition that reminds you that you are loved and held by God. Just relax for a moment. Allow yourself to ease into this time of prayer. Let us now join our hearts together in the spirit of prayer. O oh Lord, you have loved us so well. We live in a world that sets some as those who are high and mighty and above others. Lord, it is not so in your kingdom. Lord, you have called each of us to do certain things to benefit your kingdom. But none of us is above any of the rest of us. Lord, help us to love each other with a servant kind of love. Help us to remember that we are all precious in your sight, created from the dust of the earth, with your divine breath in us. We all are dust, 
and to dust we shall return. Lord, even your son Jesus, during his time on earth, was fully human. He understood what it meant to suffer. He understood what it meant to have pain. He also understood what it meant to be in community and to feel love and to feel joy. Lord, help us now to join the company of Jesus in suffering and in serving others, but also in feeling abundant love and joy and friendship with each other. Lord, you have called us to service, but you've also called us to a deeper level of love. Help us to experience it now. We ask these things in the name of your Son, our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Amen. Friends, go in peace.